Now what's funny is I came across a ransomware sample with literally Putin's face on it. Are you waging a cyber war against America? Where is the evidence? Where is proof? It's becoming farcical. I recently came across this very interesting ransomware sample, which if we're going to execute on the system, do not do this at home. It is going to encrypt all of our documents with a dot Gazprom extension. Now Gazprom, of course, is the mega giant Russian gas company that's mostly owned by the state. But what's most interesting about this ransomware is if we open any of the uh, ransom notes, which is um, an HTML application, as you can see, we are greeted with a portrait of the man himself, Putin. The rest of it is pretty usual. It says the files have been encrypted. If you need restore, you need to contact them. Their telegram is Gazprom lock. And if you don't contact them in 24 hours, the price is gonna be higher. But of course, you gotta love this ASCII art right here. It's obscure enough that there's plausible deniability, but uh, clear enough that I think everybody looking at this knows it's Putin. Now, there are quite a few false flags when it comes to ransomware operations. So I did look at this sample in Vars Total. Seems like it's been around for a while. If we go all the way back, initially it was only detected by 19 engines, but of course that has climbed up to 51 now. In terms of sample submissions, they come from the UK, US, France, and Germany. Now I also did a bit of a reverse engineering of the code itself, and it does seem like it is basically the same ransomware as Conti, which of course is a notorious ransomware group that's been around since 2020, and it's believed to be based out of Russia. Now Conti itself is a ransomware as a a service, meaning any cyber criminal can basically pay them to adopt their source code and make their own ransomware out of it. I also do know for a fact that this particular ransomware Gazprom is associated with a sanctioned entity. So is it directly affiliated? Is it just some kind of nationalistic activism or just usual cyber criminals trying to make money but also using the memes and lending their support to Putin, I don't know. But it is a pretty interesting sample that I have seen active in the wild. And one of the things about this particular ransomware variant is that it's pretty much instantaneous when it comes to deployment and encryption of files. Of course, this could just be the later stage payload. So there might be another file that downloads uh, the actual Gazprom ransomware application, but I haven't really seen that. When I looked at this in Vars Toll Crafts, I couldn't really find any interesting connections to other files that dropped it, for example. On the contrary, this is the file that drops a bunch of other files. So it does seem like the source payload. And of course, it is going to be similar to pretty much every brand of Conti ransomware because it does share the same source code. But it does amaze me that it can use the name of Gazprom, which is an actual multinational energy company, and it can also have Putin's face on their branding, makes you wonder how the Russian authorities see cybercrime. Would they be antithetical to the names being used here? Or do they give it their blessing? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. To what extent do you think nation states participate in the distribution of such ransomware? Do they oppose it? let it fly or actively promote it. If any of you are more aware about the circumstances around this ransomware, do let me know in the comments below. But as with any ransomware, Gazprom follows a similar pattern. So if you wanna protect yourself, the key thing is going to be obviously to prevent the execution of sample, lateral movement to your systems, and of course, blocking the actual encryption activity. All of which you will likely want to have good protection on your system to be able to do, but nothing is foolproof. So as usual, it's always important to have backups of your key data. Make sure those backups are up to date and also test them regularly, make sure you have a mechanism to be able to restore if something like this does happen. You'll be surprised how many big companies do not get these things right. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share it if you did. Now this does make me wonder, what would Putin say if he saw this ransomware sample? Have at it in the comments. Also feel free to join our Discord at discord.tpsc.tech. Now to our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XM Cyber, continuous exposure management. As you know, a lot of companies these days are suffering from breaches of their security attackers infiltration 
infiltrating their network, XM Cyber can help you prevent that. How, you may ask? By managing your attack paths. As you can see, we're looking at an amazing dashboard over here that gives us a security score and our high risk scenarios. Now, one of the main concerns when you're dealing with cybersecurity is identifying your critical assets. You can assume that you will never be attacked or you'll never be infected. It's going to happen. The important thing to identify is the scenarios and building a resilient infrastructure so that your most critical assets are isolated in the event of a breach. So this UI you're looking at right now is what they call the battleground. And this is where you can simulate different attack paths leading up to assets in your network. Each of these boxes represent different assets. This is an AWS scenario. As you can see, we can visualize different attack paths, different assets that could be compromised, and this can help you minimize the exposure and risk to your most critical systems. Now we can also look at vulnerabilities and exposures by device, and all of this information plugs into the final security score that you see on the dashboard. It's one of the few tools that helps you really appreciate the real risks. If a certain user were to, let's say, leave their passwords out there, it's not easy to visualize that at all, but XM Cyber really makes it easy. Check them out using the link in description or the one on screen and show them some love for supporting the PC security channel. Even if this is a new concept, I highly recommend just clicking the link and having a look because it is quite interesting. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.